In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this motion trail effect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master, the Zim Tech guy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a motion trail effect. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. So right here um, on my timeline, I've already created a timeline. I have this video of this jogger. So I want to create a motion trail using this particular clip. So for those who don't know what a motion trail is, basically it's creating copies of something. Like in this instance, this jogger, I want to create this effect. You've probably seen it in those maybe mystery movies when somebody goes missing and they're trying to replay it back and there's like a silhouette following somebody. That's basically the motion trail effect that you're trying to go for. So this clip, I downloaded it from a website called Pexels. I'll leave a link below if you want to work along with it. So to do this, um, it's actually quite simple. Let's just come here under uh, effects. Make sure effects. If you can't see this effects window, you go to where it says window and make sure that effects is ticked right here. So uh, I've already typed echo here. So let me just click. Uh, echo is under video effects. Under time, there's echo. So uh, let me just click and drag it to my clip. Or another way of doing it is simply, let me just delete this, uh, simply highlighting the clip and double clicking the echo effect. Now, uh, let's come here under effect controls and see what sort of settings we have. As you can see, the screen is now all bright. This is because of the echo operator. Basically, this is like a blend mode. Uh, if you've been working with blend modes in Photoshop, or even in Premiere or any editing uh, software, really. At the moment, it's on add. Uh, let's see what happens when you click maximum. As you can see, the uh, look is probably different, but I like to work with this one written minimum. I feel like it's more realistic. As you can see already, the, the jogger looks like she's distorted. And um, that's because of um, the echo time. This is basically where we, you know, when you drag it to the right, that means you increase the speed. That means the echo effect is actually faster than the jogger herself. But I like to, um, I want to maybe place the jogger just behind there. And uh, here where it says number of echoes, this is the number of um, duplicates you want. In this instance, I want, her to I want to create the effect like she's being followed by, let's say, five joggers, right? So let's just play the clip right now and see what we have so far. Okay, so we have this clip of these joggers following her. So they, this is basically it. Now, starting intensity, I usually start at one. If you bring it down to zero, the screen goes black, but um, one is the highest you can go. So let me leave it on one. Decay now refers to how you want, um, basically the transparency of the echoes. Because sometimes you just don't want to create like, the jogger is being followed by herself, but you want to create create that motion trail. So to do this, um, if you increase, that means the jogger will be more transparent. This is like opacity. This is probably like 100%. And when we drag it down, um, exactly like, like this, as you can see, now the joggers look faded out. There's the jogger jogging with five copies. Okay, let me see if I can just render this um, in come to the end press out and press enter just to render this so that it doesn't uh, become choppy when you play it back but basically that's how you work with the eco effect that's how you create a motion trail in adobe premiere pro cc okay let's just play it back as you can see it's playing smoothly this is how you create a motion trail in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. It will also help out the channel. Otherwise, see you in the next video. If you have any video suggestions as well, you can leave them down in the comment section below. See you in the next video.